Hi, everyone. I'm Peyton Nyquist, founder and CEO of Numinous Wellness. And today I'm here to discuss psilocybin, what it is and how it's being used effectively in psychotherapy. Psilocybin is one of the compounds responsible for the psychoactive effects found in certain mushrooms that grow primarily in South America, Mexico, Europe, and parts of North America. There are over a hundred species of psilocybin containing mushrooms in the world with varying levels of potency. The most commonly talked about species today is psilocybin cubensis with anywhere from one to 1.5% psilocybin. Although these mushrooms have been used in traditional indigenous medicine and cultural religious paradigms for a millennia, Psilocybin itself was not isolated and made in a lab until the 1950s. Today, the study of psilocybin use during therapy has shown encouraging results for the effective treatment of several mental health conditions. Since 1970, psilocybin and its bioactive derivative, psilocin, have been listed alongside other psychedelics as narcotics as a Schedule One substance in the U.S. by the DEA, which is the most restrictive category. Despite these restrictions, recent clinical trials have found psilocybin to be a promising therapy for treatment-resistant depression and anxiety. Because of this, in 2019, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has designated psilocybin as a breakthrough therapy, a move that is expected to accelerate the drug development process and review process. Regionally, several U.S. cities and states have also recently amended laws or legislation to decriminalize its use or to provide therapeutic access to psilocybin-assisted therapies. In Canada, where psilocybin is also still considered a controlled substance, the use of psilocybin for treatment-resistant depression is now allowed through the Special Access Program for qualified individuals, meaning if their doctor's application is approved by Health Canada. Psilocybin-containing mushrooms have been used by indigenous peoples for healing and religious ceremonies for thousands of years. In fact, artifacts and rock art indicate psilocybin mushrooms have a long history of use among the indigenous peoples of Mesoamerica, including by the Aztec peoples, who are even believed to often take psychedelic mushrooms at festivals and other large gatherings, eating them with chocolate and honey. Some indigenous peoples continue to use psilocybin mushrooms in ritual ceremonies today. But the importance of these mushrooms was not realized until a lot later by scientists. It wasn't until the early 1950s that a mushroom enthusiast named Gordon Wasson met with an indigenous tribe in Oaxaca, Mexico. They use psychoactive mushrooms. Wasson sent samples of the mushrooms to Albert Hoffman, a Swiss chemist known for discovering LSD. And Hoffman isolated psilocybin from the mushroom psilocybin mexicana in 1957. Later that year, he developed a way to produce a synthetic version of the psychedelic compound. Psilocybin, along with other drugs such as LSD and mescaline, are considered classic psychedelics because they can induce changes in mood, thought, and perception. When psilocybin enters the body, it is broken down to psilocin, which acts like the neurotransmitter serotonin, known to regulate mood. Studies have shown that when psilocin binds with serotonin receptors in the brain, there's a significant increase in neurotransmitter activity and crosstalk between the regions of the brain that don't normally communicate. This is a phenomenon known as neuroplasticity. It's thought that this enhanced brain activity may be why people dosed with psilocybin often see new ways of framing traumas and experiences, especially with therapy. This mind-opening effect allows you to access deeper levels of personal insight and healing. When combined with psychotherapy, it can lead to dramatic and lasting changes in your mental state and may improve your long-term health and well-being. The psychedelic effect is often described as euphoria along with the dissolution of one's ego, which is considered important for the therapeutic process. People undergoing psilocybin-assisted therapies often describe a feeling of unity and connectedness with the broader world. In fact, Many people who undergo psilocybin-assisted therapy often describe it as one of the most impactful moments of their life. 
Clinical studies have shown that psilocybin-assisted therapy could be very effective for the treating of a variety of mental health conditions, specifically those suffering from treatment-resistant depression, anxiety, alcohol use disorder, or obsessive-compulsive disorder all appear to benefit from psilocybin-assisted therapy. There are also ongoing studies to measure the effectiveness in treating opiate addiction, eating disorders, and PTSD. The sensations of psilocybin usually start to occur within 15 to 45 minutes after a person ingests it and generally lasts around 4 to 6 hours. The potency of the magic mushroom depends on the mushroom species, origin, growing conditions, and delivery method, among other things. This is why at Numinous, we are taking the important steps to standardize how much is delivered by optimizing our processes. Today, those in Canada can discuss their access to psilocybin-assisted therapy by speaking with their doctors or healthcare professional about your mental health challenges. Alternatively, we invite you to have a confidential discussion with one of our care coordinators. In the US, we look forward to seeing greater access to these important therapies, especially in states such as Oregon, where legal and regulatory frameworks to legally offer psilocybin-assisted therapies are already underway. Want to learn more? Watch our other videos as we explore psychedelic-assisted therapies and psychedelic substances in more detail.